Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. This overhanging beam is a total length of 10 meter and there are two different types of the load acting on this overhanging beam. One is the uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter and the other load is a uniformly varying load of magnitude of 3 kN per meter or we can say the triangular load acting on this portion of the beam. So to find out first of all the support reactions and then to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this overhanging beam. So let's consider these are the support reactions for this beam and this is support A and let's suppose this is support B and these are the reactions R A and R B. So to find out the support reactions, first of all we want to simplify this load. This is a triangular load, so we want to convert this triangular load into pointed load or concentrated load. So we have to find out the area of this triangle. So to find out the area of the triangle, let's suppose if this is in a triangle of base B and height H, so we can find out the area by using this formula, half base into height. Similarly, we will find out the area of this triangle so it will be equal to the pointed load or concentrated load. So it will be half base into height. So pointed load will be equal to the half base is 4 meter and height is 3 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled we got 6 kN. So we convert the triangular load into a pointed load which is a 6 kN. So this load will act at the centroid of this triangle. This load will act at the centroid of this triangle which is a magnitude of 6 kN. Now this was the first step when we have triangular load then we have to convert this load into a pointed load or concentrated load by using the area of the triangle formula. So this was the first step. Now to find out the moment, let's suppose summation of moment at any point equal to zero. And we are interested that using the equilibrium equation of moment and let's suppose the moment at point B equal to zero. Now starting from this end, this 2 kN will also create moment about point B. The clockwise moment are taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment are taken as negative. This is my sign convention for this B. So 2 kN per meter load, it will also act at the center of this beam. If you multiply this 2 with the 2, this is 2 kN per meter. If you multiply with the distance of 2 meter, so meter meter will be cancelled at we will got 4 kN. So 4 kN load will also act at the center of this triangle rectangle. So 4 kN acting load at the center of this rectangle because it is a rectangle type of load. Uniformly distributed load is always a rectangle type of load. Now this load will create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative. So it is 4 kN is the total load or we can say 2 into 2 minus sign because it creates a moment in the anti-clockwise direction so it is taken as negative. Minus 2 multiply with the 2 multiplying it with the moment arm. This is the force and we will multiply with the moment arm to find out the moment because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So the moment arm is the distance from this 4 kN distance up to point B. So this is half of 2 meter which is 1 meter and this is 4. So 4 plus 1 equal to 5. So total moment arm is 5 for this load which is acting at the center. Half of 2 is 1 meter and then 4 meter so we got 5 meter. Now RA will create the moment about point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be taken as positive. RA multiplying it with the moment arm. Moment arm is 4 meter the distance from this point up to point B. Also this force will also create the moment about point B. So it is acting in the clockwise direction about point B. So it will be also taken as positive. 6 multiplying it with the moment arm. So how to find out the moment for this load? It will be the distance from this 6 kN up to the point B. This moment arm. So this will be 2 thirds of 
the length. Two third of the length means four meter. Two third of the length, four meter. So it will be two third of the four. Now, why I use this two third of the four? Now I will explain it here. Let's suppose this is in a triangle. So if this is the length of the triangle, total length of the triangle, so the centroid will act at this point. So the distance from this end up to this centroid will be two third of L. And from this end up to this centroid will be one third of L. This is the centroid formula. That's why I use two third of the L, which where L is four meter here. That's why I use four. So now summation of all moment at point B equal to zero. Now I want to shift all these values to the right side except for RA. This for RA and this I want to shift into the right side. We got 20 and this will be plus and this will be negative 6 into 2.66. So we got 4RA equal to the if we subtract these two values, we got 4. So RA is equal to 4 divided by 4. It means RA equal to 1 kilonewton. So this is the support reactions RA, which is 1 kilonewton. Now, how to find out RB? It is very simple. Just by using this equation, equilibrium equation, summation of all vertical forces equal to 0, we can either use this equation or this equation in order to find the RB. So summation of all vertical forces is equal to zero. The upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So this force is acting in downward direction, so it will be negative. So two multiply with the two because it is distributed load and we can say directly four kilonewton. It is downward, so it is negative. Then RA is acting upward plus RA plus RB. And then again minus six kilonewton load acting in the downward direction. So summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. Now Ra is one kilonewton, so minus four plus one plus Rb minus six equal to zero. So by simplifying, we got Rb equal to if we add minus three and minus six, so minus nine. If we move into the right side, we get plus nine kilonewton. So we got plus nine kilonewton support reactions Rb. Now, this is the way how to find out the support reactions. Now, we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So, if you first we will draw the reference lines. Let's suppose this is for the shear force. And this is for the bending moment diagram. So, shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton meter. So now there is a load starting from this point. We have reference line zero zero. There is a load two kilonewton per meter acting in the downward direction. And we know that if we multiply this two with the two length, we got four kilonewton. So the total load is four kilonewton. So we will bring from zero up to the minus four. Now there is a magnitude of one kilonewton load acting in the upward direction. So it will be, if it's minus 4 was acting downward and 1 is acting upward, so we got minus 3. So it means we will move this up to the 1 unit, we got minus 3 here. Now there is no load acting on this portion of the beam, so it will be a straight line. And then there is a load of 9 kN acting in the upward direction, so minus 3 was before and plus 9 because it is acting in upward direction, we got plus 6, so we will bring this up to the plus. 6. Now, we know that this is 6 kN load acting in the downward position, so it will bring this plus 6. This is downward acting in the downward direction, so it, is, it was plus 6 before, now it is minus 6 equal to 0, so we will have shear force 0 at this point. This is the way how to draw the shear force diagram. Now, this is negative negative because they are, these are below the reference line and this is positive because it is above the reference line. Now to draw the bending moment diagram, we will find the area of the shear boxes. So this is a triangle we can see. This is a triangle where the height is minus 4 and the base is 2 meter. So the area for this triangle will be the area for this triangle will be A1 half 
base into height. 4 is height and base is 2 meter. So we got 4. And this will be in minus. Why? Because this is negative shear box. So it is minus 4. So we will have minus shear box. Minus bending moment of minus 4. Now the area of this shear box. 3 is the height and base is 4 meter. 4 meter. So this is a rectangle. So 3 into 4 we will find the area of this box which is A2. 3 into 4 we got 12. It is minus 12 because this is a negative shear box below the reference line. So minus 12. Now we will add minus 12 to minus 4. We got minus 16. Now I am using a trick here to find out the bending moment at this point. We know that these are the reference lines. And we also know that there is no support at this point of the beam. So there is no fixed support in order to resist the moment. So we can say that there is zero bending moment here at this portion of the beam. At the end of the beam. There will be zero bending moment. Because there are no support. So there is, there is no fixed support to take the moment. That's why the bending moment will, value will be zero here. So I simply draw the line from this point up to this point. To join the, these two points. Similarly, we know that there is zero bending moment. So I just draw the line from minus 16 up to zero in order to draw the bending moment diagram. So also it should be kept in mind that this was one degree line, a linear line. So this was a curved line or we can say a two degree line or parabolal, parabolic line. This is a straight line or we can say zero degree line. So this is a one degree line. The bending moment diagram should always be one degree greater than the shear force diagram. This was a curved line, it's two degree, because the load was one degree. So it was two degree, the bending moment will be three degree, or we can see the cubic line. It should be kept in mind that the, that the shear force diagram will be one degree greater than the load diagram, and bending moment diagram will be one degree greater than the shear force diagram. Hope you guys understand. How to draw the shear force in bending moment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.